What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Now that we have our resolve to help people like Kendo, let's get going. And get some exposition. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. <sighs> that explains the horrible things I've seen. Ugh. This does seem kind of silly that we have to catch up to Ada to get more exposition, but I was kind of goofing off, so <laughs> it almost looks like Leon has to catch up to her to catch up with the story. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. Frequent breaks in the story, too. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. Uh, yeah, Leon, the giant laboratory might be in the sewers. Uh, what was your big hit there? The giant hole in the ground? Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Ah! Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. You know, it's kind of hard to save a city that's under the control of a giant... What, what was it? Pharmaceutical company? I do like how this is how we, the player, learn about Raccoon City's fate and who is running the show. But also, curious little Leon figuring out the bigger picture. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. <sighs> oh dear. Seems to be, uh, I don't know, giant rat down here? Maybe it was another seismic boom? Uh, I don't know. What the hell? Stay shut. God only knows what's down here. Oh, I knows what's down here. Yay! I was wondering how they were going to do it, and they did it! Not every giant animal made it to Resident Evil 2 Remake, but the one that did... Holy shit! Again, I was so curious on how they were going to do it. By the way, if you've never seen this before, this is going to be a huge surprise. Little bit of suspense. You know something's coming. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Oh, uh, look at Mr. Brave Boy. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not gonna be fine, am I? Oh, especially here. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. back from the original game. Oh my god, he's pissed! He wants a little bit of that snack Leon. Holy shit! Basically, my best advice for you is to just get out of the way of the mouth. That's all you gotta do. You see it coming to the right, you run the opposite direction and vice versa. Keep running, don't stop. Smile, you son of a bitch! Uh. Hell yeah! Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Whew! Well, that was enough excitement for one day. See you guys next time. I'm, I'm just kidding. But, wait, I hear footsteps. Oh! 
Hi. Leon, up here. What the hell was... Just get up here. Ada, I killed a gator. Are you impressed? Well, what if I shoot this? Are you impressed? No? Okay. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. You know, I'm always curious if the actors ever question what they have to say as their character, and I wonder how many of them piece together what the context is. See, I could just imagine both actors for Leon and Claire just thinking, giant reptiles, and then thinking, oh wait. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. As scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. You think a person is more dangerous than a giant alligator? Hmm. I guess if she was the one making the cause of the giant alligator. In a technicality, she is more threatening. I'll just take your word for it. Yep. Ada? You coming? Are you afraid of a giant tarantula being down here? Or maybe a enormous gecko? Come on, I can protect you. Definitely William's handiwork. Identify yourself. Net Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. You thought we were going to get through Leon's campaign without playing as a different character? You're wrong! First day on the job and Leon takes a bullet for somebody else. What a noble person. But yeah, we get to play as Ada for a while. This is fun. She is a fun character. I like this rendition of Ada. You know how I mentioned a few episodes ago how they wanted to go for more realistic looks for the characters? Well, I find that hilarious because, uh, yeah, they put her in the trench coat and wanted to be more realistic, but they still gave her the, uh, very, very hot red dress. Not gonna lie. I know who I am. Secret weapon time. Ooh, a hacking gun! Yeah, secret weapon. This entire section is all about hacking electronics to make them work for you directly. <laughs> Spin faster, you fan! I don't know what I'm on about, but yeah, that's the basic gimmick behind Ada's entire section is finding electronics and making them work differently so you, that you can move forward to go find a net. This is a fun little section. And one thing I'm very happy about, I was hoping they do this, there is an achievement for going through this entire section 
with only using the EMF visualizer. For just using the hacking gun. It is possible. It's definitely possible. I'm going to try to do it. I might have to change gears a little bit. I'm going to see if I can do it. If I can't, not a big loss. I'm mainly here to show you how to do everything. But just know that it's totally doable. If you are having trouble, go to an easier difficulty. That'll definitely help in the long run. Because there are enemies in here. There weren't any enemies for Sherry. Just an instant game over. But here for Ada, she has to take care of herself by fending off zombies. Okay, ID wristband. We can do that. You know, I, I'm really glad they had this segment in the game here, too. You know, as a player of the original, I'm always thinking, is this going to be here? Is this going to be here? And then I saw Ada fade in from black. I was like, yeah, all right. Now, uh, I, I mentioned her design being different, but uh, more realistic. And while this is still her iconic red dress, uh, it is just a tad more believable in this sense. I just thought it funny that she hit it with a trench coat and then was just like, hmm, time for action. Shit. Oh my god, I can't believe I escaped that. All right, bob and weave. It probably wasn't a good idea to have that one zombie wake up, but I think we'll make it through. This is actually kind of a rough segment if you're trying to go with the hacking gun only, because you basically have to visualize all around this place just to see where that cable is going. Eventually find the power source, turn it on, and then take the elevator up. So, your first time through, yeah, this is going to be a bit rough. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. I'm going to play with my kite here. Come on. Alright, off we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, how, how wide's your range? Pretty wide. Okay. There we go. I just wanted to make a safe bet. What? I disagree. I was nowhere close to... Okay, maybe I wasn't very close to that. Oh, you son of a bitch. I should have kept the... <laughs> I should have kept the flash grenade. Shit. All right. Uh, one more hit and I'm dead. We love to see it. But we're actually out of the hardest part. Got you now. Always been good at running, and that give you that. This section is criminally short, but it's definitely fun. I'll give it that. Especially when a wild card shows up. Yep. Persistent bastard, aren't you? You heard his audio cue. The boo. Yeah, Mr. X's audio cue. You gotta love it. Now this one. I always do it like this because it makes it easier in the long run. You need to transfer the power over to this fan and eventually turn the fan on and bust it before Mr. X gets to you. If you can do this fast enough, that's the easiest way to get through this without using your handgun. And it's over. Sorry, not the entire segment, just the section where Mr. X is hot on your tail. I'm sorry I hurt you so much, Ada. I actually feel bad that you're on danger. There are no healing items, to my knowledge, in this section, so... The health you have is what you get. Although, there is one important thing here... Hi. Wait for it. Hey! Alright! Every single Mr. Raccoon has been destroyed. The last one was here in Ada's section. Leon can't get this one. It's only Ada. So unfortunately, if you're going through your first time, you won't be able to get the, uh, the uh, hacking gun only. Unless you reload your save. And then you should be able to do it lickety-split. I don't like how the green text is labeled wristband and incinerator. This fills me with glee thinking how we're going to have to go into an active incinerator to hopefully pick up a wristband. Oh no, man, it's about 50-50 on whether I'm getting out of here alive. Especially now that I'm on danger. Oops. At least the power's back on. That's good. 
ID wristband required for entry. All right, all right, we'll follow the rules. Definitely check where all the power supplies are before you go and get the wristband. Trust me. Just scope out the entire area before you start this. As you can probably tell, with incinerator being in green text, something's about to go wrong. Now that we have a good enough layout of this place. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, just mainly double check where everything is, see where the power supplies are. And there you go. Imagine that! Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. And you won't die alone. As soon as the timer starts, you are able to start messing with mechanics. What you need to do is break the three generators here on the door to open the thing up. And you're going to have to swap around power supplies all over the place in order to get the proper power to the generator to blow it up. The first one's pretty easy, it's basically already connected. And then the other ones you do have to flip a couple levers just to change the polarity, and that is all three of them in less than 30 seconds. That bitch knows what she's doing. That one can be a bit intimidating. I have had a situation where the timer got down to zero, the fire started, and I was still able to blow the thing open and leave. If anything, zero seconds is just like, speed it up or you die, three, two, one, dead. You have a little extra leeway if you're having a bit of trouble. Is authorized until October 1st. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. Ah, who wants to return those? They're free, right? You're not getting away, Annette. Super spy FBI Ada is here to take you down. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me. Is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for cheese? Interesting theory. You don't cooperate. I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. Where's Leon? 